Good morning. Uh, this morning I'm going to make two wheaten loaves. They're each uh, going to be a pound or so. So uh, this is what you need. You need porridge oats. You need sunflower oil. You need natural yogurt and you need baking soda. Okay, so that's your ingredients and this is what you need as regards uh, utensils. Um, you need a baking, bowl. a baking bowl and you need two of these containers to stick in the oven. Each will contain a pound. Okay, and this is our friend Nan Cohn from Dundrum's favourite uh, recipe that we're using. Right, you set your oven to 180 before you start mixing your ingredients. And uh, these um, wheaten loaves should take around 40 minutes. Uh, you also grease your uh, baking tins. Right, next thing to do is to empty your complete pot of natural yogurt into your mixing bowl. And I've just done that. Well, we drop on the bottom and then we're going to use the empty carton tub to put in two um, fill, or fills of uh, speedy cook porridge oats. Now two full tubs of porridge oats going in now. One, I do not particularly like cooking. I don't like the discipline of it, the timings, etc., that you have to adhere to, because I'm always running off doing something else and then it burns or is destroyed but um, I'm being meticulous this morning so there's a second so you have to fill this right up and then you mix the concoction. Right, you've got your your porridge oats in. Now you want to put one tablespoon full of uh, sunflower oil. And this will help with the mixing because it's very dry looking at the minute. And then you put one teaspoonful of baking soda. Spreading it about the place so it does mix in. Oops. Right, and then we try and mix it. And I'm mixing away here, trying not to spill the mixture out over the edges. Um, it does appear to be pretty dry, I have to say, and it's, it's taking a wee bit of time to do this. Um, the temptation is to add more oil, 
but that's, the recipe says just one tablespoon full. So or whenever I deviate from any recipe, it all goes badly wrong. So I'm not going to do that. And if it turns out not so good, I will blame the recipe. But we'll see how it goes. So next thing to do is um, put your concoction, your mixture, into your baking tins. And try and split them up reasonably evenly. It is quite sticky. So you might need it another spoon rather than getting your hands covered. No, I don't like cooking at all. I leave it up to others usually. But if there's something I like, I will go out of my way to try and make it. And I do like wheaten bread. So we've got the um, baking tins full of the mixture. And unfortunately I have pressed it right bit hard down on this one and maybe uh, that's going to be too compressed if I've maybe compressed the air out of it. So don't press like I did too hard down on the mixture. Oops. Right, I'm going to put this in the oven for 40 minutes. Second shelf. That's the second it. shelf. Oops. Because if you put it in the first shelf, it's going to cook too fast. And this, these are the, um, this is the wheaten. And this is 20 minutes in, so another 20 minutes to go. Right, uh, 40 minutes is up. I've opened the oven door and I'm lifting the tray up and I'm going to put this skewer in it to see whether it's properly cooked. So if it comes out clean, it's cooked. Clean. 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 So it's cooked. So I've run a knife round there and there to make sure that the pudding comes out. And I'll do the same over here. And we'll leave those to cool. Right, um, just cutting the cooled wheaten bread. And this is one wheaten loaf eaten yesterday. And this is the second one being eaten today. Nice with a bit of cheese and a cup of tea.